Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stew again. I've been working on something lately and I'm ready to show it to you and ready to show you how to use it. Let's take a look. I've created a collection called City Streets Kit. This is a collection of things I've made aimed at piecing together racing game scenes quickly and easily. Inside that collection is a scene called City Streets On Grid Starter Scene. This is a scene with every element in the kit normalized and lined up with a Dreams 4 grid. So it's all set up to snap everything together very easily. You can see we have a bunch of road tiles as well as some common groupings of those. We also have some building towers and facades. And lastly, some pieces for creating road courses within the city scene you construct. The scene I'm about to make is complete and available as City Streets Kit Sample Scene if you want to follow along or if you want to use it right away to make content. You can see here all the pieces in the kit consume 10% gameplay and 46% graphics thermo, so it's a good base kit that will leave you with lots of room to add other stuff. As previously mentioned, we are on a 4 grid to make it easy to place everything. I'm going to keep the roadway simple and make all 4 lane streets with 4 lane intersections. I've cloned a pre-made 4 lane intersection and moved it into a space where I have room to build. You'll notice I'm doing a lot of this top down. This makes it easier to keep the pieces from moving up and down too much in the Z axis. You don't have to do it this way since we're working on a 4 grid, correcting mistakes is fairly easy. Real quick, I want to give an idea of how easy it will be to set up a simple city block building. I've copied Building Facade 2 and dragged it over by the four lane intersection. It snaps right into place which allows me to quickly clone and rotate it to create a corner. As you can see, all the pieces are exactly where they should be with no extra effort. Building basic layouts with this kit is meant to be fast and easy. I'm grabbing a pre-made four lane street section. This piece has two sides, one for through roads and one that leads to intersections. To extend the building to face the new road piece, we simply clone an existing facade and move it over one tick. I'm then going to extend the building and roads until we're ready to complete the block and place another intersection. If you grab the road pieces by the center tick, you can rotate them easily in correct position. Otherwise, you may need to adjust a little at a smaller grid size. I'm going to clone and move the intersection to make a new one and that will establish our block sizes for road pieces between intersections. In a 4 grid, this is equivalent to buildings that are 32 dot square or with a bit of math, buildings that are 128 dot square at the default grid. There are different ways of looking at scale in Dreams. I like to view the default puppet as an average sized person and scale from there. However, from the standpoint of the physics engine, the standard puppet is kind of short when you consider that one dot of distance in a 4 grid is equivalent to a meter. As a result, our blocks are roughly 100 feet square according to the physics engine. However, they're roughly 120 feet square when scaling to the default puppet. The main thing to take away from that is that you have a little wiggle room when scaling and the physics engine reacts okay to that. I'm going to finish this first block real quick and then we'll see how you can expand things quite a bit quickly and easily. We're going to multi-select the in-between road pieces. You do this by hovering over them and pressing cross. You can deselect by pressing circle. To clone a multi-selection, hover over it, hold L1 and then hold R2. Now you can move the clone around. When you release R2, the clone is placed. If you place the clone in the wrong spot, you can always move it later. You can also release L1 during that process anytime after you started to hold R2. Here I'm continuing to clone and place the multiplying road sections. We want enough overall roadway that we can design a track inside it without getting too close to the edges. If we can stay inside the space a little, it's easier to give the illusion that we're inside a portion of an urbanized city. For the time being, I'm going with a nine square block space, but we'll expand that some later. The point here is that we just made a roadway with 16 intersections in less than five minutes. Pretty cool. That should give you the basic idea of how to make a fast roadway. Now let's talk about making a building quickly. By the way, right here you'll notice me switching from an eight grid back to a four grid. 
Sometimes when you're moving very large pieces on grid, it helps to switch to a larger grid if your layout conforms to the larger grid. In this case, it did. I'm going to finish up this building facade. There are lots of ways you can do this. Here I'm creating two sides in a corner. I'm going to select the whole thing, clone it, and then rotate it to fill in the other two walls. Especially on grid, Dreams is all about being able to do big operations quickly, so make sure to get in the habit of thinking this way rather than moving things around one by one. It saves time and also leads to some interesting sculpting and level design techniques. I'm going to clone one of the towers and we'll make the rest of the building with that. I've designed these towers with a total of eight different faces, four on one half and four on the other. In practice, most times you're going to leave at least half of the tower in the ground. If you want a consistent tower facade appearance, you're going to want to clone and rotate the towers so that the same side is facing the street for each section you use. Since we're dealing with a 4x4 block, we'll need 16 towers to keep the same face on the building all the way around. To line them up perfectly, you may need to move things around at a smaller grid size. You'll also need to recess the towers from the base facades enough so that they don't overlap. There are lots of different ways to combine all the pieces. Make sure you experiment with them. Here I've laid four towers down side by side. I'm multi-selecting and cloning all four and then moving and rotating the cloned group. When I have the group in position, I can make outside clones of the group to fill in the rest. You do this by pressing right D-pad after cloning and before placing. Each time you press right D-pad, you'll make another clone. The clones are iterated at the same distance in rotation to the original. In this case, each will rotate 90 degrees and move to the next corner, just like we did with our original clone. I want to fill the hole in on the top, so I'm going to clone a couple of towers and move them up and toward the center to make a second higher section of the building. Once I have those two towers in place, I can multi-select clone them, rotate, and then make outside clones just like on the lower course. In this way we make sure all sides of the upper portion are the same face. And there we have a 9 square block street grid with a 20 story block sized building in about 8 minutes. This particular video is starting to run long so I'm going to stop here. We've been moving at nearly real time and the overall build of the sample scene took me about three hours, so we have a lot to talk about. I'm planning to expand and support this kit for as long as I use Dreams, so videos on this topic will be ongoing and hopefully fairly regular. I'm also going to use this kit to construct my own racing games and I'll be showing off my progress on that when I start. I stand behind and fully support my kit. If you use these assets, please consider technical support from me as a built-in feature. You need advice about this kit, just want to chat about it, run into a problem, or have any questions at all, please contact me in the comments or on Twitter at lucid underscore stew. Links for resources used in this video are in the comments. This series will continue shortly, so keep an eye out. That's all for this time. I'll see you in the Dreamiverse.